And he's broken more than boards. This martial arts master has plenty of records under his belt. He's here in studio to show off some moves and talk about another record-breaking attempt. Hi, Jenna. All right, he has traveled the world breaking records over his head, and he's also breaking world records as well. Kevin Shelley is here to talk about his upcoming trip to break yet another record and show off some of his skills. Good to see you, young man. Good to meet you. Well, I'm a, I'm a little bit scared about some of the things we have to do because one of them includes me breaking something over your head, and I just found out about that. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but we're going to get into that in a second. First of all, tell us a little bit about who you are. You've been all over YouTube, haven't you? You know, I, I put a few of the stunts I've done on uh, YouTube and, and on my MySpace, but uh, my wife, Orlando, and I, we've, we've pretty much traveled the world having fun doing some stunts, uh, most, mostly martial arts-related stunts, and... and uh, just having a blast doing some stuff for the Guinness World Record people, which and is always fun. Yeah, you're going to go to Mexico, too, right? Getting around. ready to do a show in Mexico where I will be attempting three different martial arts records and possibly setting a new record for the most martial arts records attempted in a 24-hour period. And what's that? What are the records? Uh, well, the, uh, the first is one that I set back in 1999. It's breaking the most boards with a forehead strike called Muri. Yeah. Like that. Okay. That's uh, 31 boards in 30 seconds. I'm going to go down and do 32. Uh, Another one, uh, we're, we're still in talks with the Guinness judges, even though it's a week from today we leave, about the parameters of it, but it's going to be involving the katana sword, the sword of the samurai, and then uh, another breaking record, which we're also talking about the parameters. All right, and we're going to have a little demonstration here today, right? Yeah, sure. And you have your wife, I believe, helping out? Rolanda's going to help me out because uh, the, the uh, powers that be said that I shouldn't use you for the sword stunt. Oh, because you're going to do something on the abdomen. And, well, right. you know, it's not really risky because I have abs of steel, so <laughs> I should be fine. I wouldn't want to hurt my sword on your abs. abs, but, abs of but I thought we'd break a couple boards real quick if okay. you'd like. If you want to hold this for me and lock up your elbows, I just wanted to demonstrate. This is a white pine, one inch by 12 by 12 white pine board. I'll just do it, break it with a hand strike called a palm heel strike. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Glad I held on to that tight. It felt like it was going to fly out and hit me in the face. Yeah. One of the things I'll do on this show is breaking boards with my head this way. But I can't do that right now because, you know, I'm going to be doing it on a show and they don't want me to show off the same stunt. So I thought I'd have you break it for me. This so you'll is what I don't like want to do. About this angle. Yeah. And just try to hammer me into the ground. Uh, this is A little insane. more angle. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Well, job. congratulations, congratulations. Thanks. I would never let you do that to me. That's, now, who do I see about suing it? <laughs> oh, uh, I only make a buck ninety-eight an hour. That's not going to net you much. Now, we're going to have the wife in here, right? We're going to have Rolanda step up onto the table. This is the one I was not allowed to do for good reason. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate a, a practice cut with a katana sword. And how did you develop this? You know, wife, you're just sitting around. He didn't want to cut the celery on the chopping block, so he figured he'd lay you down. How'd that work out? Well, I saw one of those Vegematic commercials that slices, it dices, it makes julian fries, and I thought, I could do that with a sword. So, yeah, you know. I'm going to step a little bit out of the way here. And make sure your hands are back. That's obviously got to be a sharp sword to be able to cut that. Well, the, the trick is, and there is a trick to it, to come very close to the wife with while getting to as much of the celery as possible and as little of the wife as possible. You're a little bit shaken. Are you nervous? Not really. I've seen him do it. <laughs> this is her first time doing this stunt right, here on live up. television, so now it's time to focus. Didn't mention anything about that. Well, if I had, you might not have invited me on. through three quarters of it. My goal is to cut through all of it and our goal Sundays, is not to kill her. <laughs> Sundays you get closer than others, but oh. I got through most of it. Well yeah, that's yeah. A, how do you feel? Are you fine? Oh fine. Oh fine. congratulations. <laughs> well what's next for I, you? I have the nerve wracking part. If I hurt her I have to keep in mind where the emergency exit is and <laughs> Yeah, you didn't tell us she runs fast. You didn't tell us about that little blindfold thing, but well done. Uh, where can people get a hold of you? Where can people see more? Well, actually, martial arts is just one of the things I do. I'm, I'm actually a personal trainer at Carmel Total Fitness. Mm -hmm. You can get a hold of me at carmeltotalfitness.com or my website, headstrike.com. 
Um, if you're interested in personal, I don't, I don't teach schools anymore, but if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one martial arts instruction in Taekwondo, Kendo, or European fencing, mm -hmm. or if you're interested in having a personal trainer, both in the gym or in-home personal trainer, uh, just get a hold of me, email me, uh, kevin at carmeltotalfitness.com. And we have that on our website, which is fox59.com. Or if you want to learn how to break stuff over the wipe or your forehead, any of that stuff, it's all good. I have pre-printed waivers. All right, well, good, exactly. <laughs> great to meet you, and great to meet you, too, and you're far more Thanks brave than time. I. All right, Jim O'Brien, uh, what do you think about that? That's uh, kind of crazy stuff. Pretty good stuff for a Monday morning. Thanks a lot, guys.